I will solve two problems in this part. The first problem is taken from GATE 2009 exam and the second problem is taken from GATE 2013 exam. Let's read the first problem. If x is equal to 1 in the logic equation then choose the correct option. The given logic equation is x or z and y complement or z complement or x and y complement and x complement or z complement and x or y and this is equal to 1 and let's say and let's say this part of the logic equation is a and this part of the logic equation is b so we have a and b equal to 1 and this implies a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 because a and b is 1 only when a is 1 and b is 1 so we have two conditions we have two conditions in the first condition a is 1 and in the second condition b is equal to 1 so let's try to obtain the relation between x y and z using these two conditions a is 1 so x or z and y complement or z complement or x and y complement is equal to 1 in this problem it is already given x is equal to 1 so we have 1 or z and y complement or z complement or x and y complement equal to 1 and we already know anything odd with 1 anything odd with 1 is equal to 1 so this term can be 0 or it can be 1 now we will move to the second condition b is equal to 1 b is x complement or z complement and x or y x complement or z complement and x or y is equal to 1 x is 1 so x complement is 0 so 0 or z complement and x or y is equal to 1 this implies this implies z complement is equal to 1 and x or y is equal to 1 z complement is equal to 1 this means this means z is equal to 0 very simple x is 1 so y y can be 0 or it can be 1 and if you see the four options you will find option d is the correct option because z is equal to 0 so this is how you have to deal with this problem now we will solve the second problem the second problem is taken from gate 2013 paper first I will read the problem this is very interesting problem a bulb in a staircase has two switches one switch being at the ground floor and other one at the first floor the bulb can be turned on and also can be turned off by any one by any one of the switches irrespective of the state of the other switch the logic of the switching of the bulb resembles this is very interesting problem we have staircase connecting the ground floor and the first floor this is the staircase this is ground floor this is first floor we have one switch at ground floor let's call it SG and we have one switch at the first floor and let's call it as 1 now I will explain what is actually happening here we have bulb we have bulb and this bulb can be turned on and also can be turned off by any one of the switches irrespective of the position or state of the other switch I will explain this point if switch is open if switch is open and let's say bulb is off and when you close the switch when you close the switch the bulb will turn on let's take another condition when switch is closed and bulb is off when you open the switch when you open the switch the bulb will turn on and in the problem it is mentioned bulb can be turned on and it can be turned off by any one of the switches irrespective of the state of the other switch that's why we don't have to consider the position or the state of the other switch and this is how the switch and bulb are operating now I will make the truth table I will make the truth table SG 
is the first column s1 is the second column and bulb is the output of this truth table and initially I will consider both the switches are off both the switches are off and when both the switches are off and you are not making any change in SG or S1 the bulb will remain off and this is what I have explained now you go to the first floor you go to the first floor and switch on S1 so SG is off S1 is on and this will also turn on the bulb now you switch off S1 again so SG is off S1 is off and bulb is also off now you come to the ground floor and you switch on SG so SG is on S1 is off and this will also turn on the bulb now we will move to the last case and this last case is the most important case of this problem you turn off SG you turn off SG so both SG and S1 are now off this will also off the bulb and after this you turn on SG so now SG is on S1 is off bulb is on and you go to the first floor you go to the first floor and you also turn on S1 this will turn off this will turn off the bulb I will remove this two cases because they are similar to the first case so the final truth table will look something like this 0 0 0 0 is off 0 1 1 1 is on 1 0 in this case 1 0 1 and the last case 1 1 0 1 1 0 and you can clearly see this is the truth table of XOR gate so option C is the correct option and the logic switching resembles to the XOR gate so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one